Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'll explain to you how to use element states with oxygen. A state is technically known as a CSS pseudo class, and these allow you to apply different styles to the element based on the state of the element. For example, if the element is hovered over with the mouse, if the element is the first child of another element, things like that. So let's go ahead and create a button and apply a hover effect to it. So to create this button, I'll add a text link. I'll add a class called um, my special button. Let's go ahead and set a background color for the button. Let's use something that's sort of uh, like a reddish pink. Let's add some size to the button with padding. So we'll go size and spacing, padding, 20, 20, and 40 on the left and right. Let's go back to primary, set the text color to white. Let's try custom font here. Uh, we'll call this my special button. Let's crank up this font size a little bit. And we'll add some spacing just so it looks better. Okay, so here is our button. Now let's say we wanted to add a hover effect to this button. We would click the state dropdown and choose the hover state from the dropdown. Then we could change the background color on hover. So maybe we want to make it darker on hover. Okay. Now mouse over, the button gets darker. And we could add a transition when the button transitions between states, when it goes from the default state to the hover state we could add a transition in the effects tab. So we go effects, transition, transition duration, 0.5 seconds, and I'll take 0.5 seconds for the properties in the hover state to actually be applied to the element. They'll animate in. So that's how to create a hover effect on a button. To delete a to delete the styles created for a state, just click the state drop down, click the X. If styles are present for States other than the default, the state button will glow in blue, and then the state with styles present will be lit up like this. Here we're editing the original state. Here we're editing the hover state. Now, there are other things you can do with states as well. For example, imagine that I add a section, and then I have some tabs. So let's add in a tabs element. Where are you, tabs? Tabs. And let's say I have five tabs. So tab number three, tab number four, and tab number five. Now let's say I apply a border to um, all of the tabs. So let's go borders, uh, one pixel, solid, like this. Now we have a border around all of the tabs. Now we want the first tab to not have a border on its right side. And we want the, in fact, we don't want any of the tabs to have a border on the right except the last tab. So what we'll do is remove the border on the right. So we'll go tabs, border, right, style, none. And then we only want to add a border right to the last tab. So the way we'll do that is tabs, add a custom state by clicking add state, type in last child, borders, right, border style solid. And this way we can create tabs like this where we don't have double borders on the central tabs. So there are many pseudo classes you can use to find a complete reference. Go to the Mozilla Developer Network and look at the pseudo classes reference. So I'm sure if you just type that into Google, there we go, number one result. I highly recommend the Mozilla Developer Network I think it's the best documentation for um, all sorts of advanced CSS stuff anywhere. Okay, thank you very much for watching. That is how to use states in Oxygen.